can avoid that by doing this step first. That should give me the right direction. We'll see how patient I feel. All right, back to my big water project. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put some plumbers, uh, what is that stuff called? I wanna say plumber's tape, silicone tape, whatever that stuff is. I'm gonna wrap this before I thread it into here just to, uh, you know, be proactive and avoid leaking as much as possible. So I gotta get into my, uh, my tools. My tools are really pretty organized. Um, there's definitely some plumber's tape in there. Find it. Maybe if I maybe if I just pull on this, the plumber's tape will be attached somewhere. Nope. You know, I keep telling Liz that I need to get a toolbox, and I know I do, or something to keep my tools in. But literally every time we go somewhere, a hardware store or something, I'm just not ever happy with the tool bags that I find. This is my Makita drill bag. And uh, the truth of the matter is, any tool bag I find <laughs> has got to be better than that. <laughs> I don't know uh, why I'm so comfortable with this, but I've totally blown the thing out by putting way too much crap in this. This is all my, I got a chisel, utility knives. It's just a little bit of everything. That's what I throw in the RV when we go travel too. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get in here and find some plumber's tape. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, look. See, it is organized. I don't need a tool bag. It was right, it was right there. I didn't even have to cut away. I didn't edit. I, at least I always know something in there. <laughs> okay, so this is some um, pipe thread seal tape. I'm going to wrap this before I thread into the bulkhead. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there snug and tight before I seal and seat this into the water. That way I can know for sure my, um, uh, that I have this in the angle I, I want it to be in, the position I want it to be in when I seat it in there instead of seating this and sealing it with an adhesive and then starting to thread this in and be like, oh man, it's, it's snug right here. You can avoid that by doing this step first. Ideally. So you always want to wrap this stuff opposite of the direction you're going to be threading, if that makes sense, so that when you're threading it in, it isn't unraveling it off. So for me, that always means, if it's a, a normal thread, that I hold this reel with my left hand and whatever I'm wrapping in my right hand and I wrap from behind and up and over. And that should give me the right direction. And I just go around it a couple times and then pull it tight and knock it loose and then smooth that out. And this should give me a nice uh, tight seal. And just avoid the step of doing it later. I feel that tape slipping a little bit. Now it's snugged. So that makes me feel good about that choice. These particular um, Nipple waters, I don't know if other ones do, are flat here, so I could grab it with a channel lock or some pliers and really crank it down. Uh, I've always found with plastic fittings to not go too tight, because that just sometimes creates a, a leak. So I am just gonna snug it maybe with the assistance of some pliers or channel locks from my uh, tool bag. Just snug it a little bit more than I can with my hands but just, like I said, just a little snug. I'm not gonna really ratchet it down because uh, that could just 
cause the threads to uh, leak or break or not a plumber guys just a just a joe trying to figure it out so i'll just get a little better grip there right where it's flat and uh i mean that i'm able to torque it a lot more than i could just by hand so i'm just gonna go till she's snug snug as a bug that feels good to me it did not and uh but i also wouldn't have been able to do that just by hand so feels pretty pretty good so we've got that okay so this has a washer here my theory is to put a little bit of that silicone sealant on this washer just to add an extra layer of seal uh, and before I thread this thing in. So that's what we're gonna do. This washer has a bit of a rim on it, double rim, so that, you know, probably acts as a double seal, but we're gonna do this anyway, guys. Why not take some extra precautions up front? I could always, if I wanna take this off for some reason, I could always cut that seal, the, the silicone, and take this off. I don't think it'll be that bad with this Loctite. Uh, silicone stuff. So this is dried up pretty good on the outside. My little hole. I still am like, just like, did I make it too high? Did I make it too low? I don't think I'm gonna know until the pigs know. So we'll get this going here. This is the stuff I've got. It's a clear silicone safe for aquarium. Aquarium safe clear silicone, waterproof. The hardware store guy said, well, if it's safe for aquariums, I think it'd be safe for fish, so it'd be safe for pigs. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm gonna go with it. There shouldn't be that much contact of the water that the pigs are drinking touching the sealant, and I'm gonna try and keep it a clean job here anyway. So I'm just gonna take my stuff here and hit it around this seal that already exists. Okay, we've got that in there nice and tight. Clean work. Uh, now we just wait. I'm gonna let that, that uh, sealant cure before I start fussing with it. For some reason I have a leak, I could always come back in here, put some sealant around this side, because I'll be able to unthread this and put a little bit more sealant on the inside of there. I did not seal it from this side, so we shall see. But I've got this edge sealed, pressed with the washer. Feeling good about it. We won't know until we know. And then I have some more of this, so I can always go in and try and seal it better. So that's where we're at, guys. Now it's the waiting game. I really want to put water in it, but I have to wait. It's not tacky after, it says it sets for two hours, but you could let it cure for 24 hours. We'll see how patient I feel. That project is complete for the day. We'll check back in later to see if it holds water without dripping. Look up. Do you see it? <laughs> 